Pause, pause, pause. You know what I hate is when people are finishing their cereal and they drink the milk like to make that nasty slurping sound. I hate that, it's so gross. Real quick question for you guys. I'd be really be interested to know is, are you team Fruit Loops or team Frosted Flakes? <clears throat> Go ahead and leave your answer down below because I want to know. And this is a real question. There is a right or wrong answer, okay? So, hey guys, welcome back. I'm happy to see you guys, and if you're new, go ahead and read that bio in the on my channel page and find out what we're about. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button, and if you think it's informative and you're learning from it, then you might as well subscribe because we have way more content coming soon, and I mean, it's a tidal wave of content. So stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to helping people learn and grow, and I'm looking forward to learning and growing um, on this journey with YouTube, as I am, since I'm a new YouTuber. But that's enough of that. So today we're here to talk about something different. We always talk about microphones. I mean, then the spoiler alert. We always talk about camera lenses, but today we're gonna talk about a microphone and not whether you should buy it or not, but just what it offers you. Okay, so today we're talking about the Rode Video Micro. Let's look at some cool B-roll. All right, that was dope. That was smooth, wasn't it? Now let's check out some of these cool pictures. All right, so as you can see, that's the Rode Video Micro. Looks pretty nice, um, has a very nice form factor, but uh, what does it offer you as a user? So this microphone is a, which I'm using right now to get the audio for this video, is a super compact on camera microphone. It goes right on top of your camera in this, that little spot on top that you don't know what it is. That's called a hot shoe mic. And that is where you can slide in accessories such as a microphone or a flash or a flash trigger, which we'll talk about that in another video when I make a tutorial on lighting. So um, this microphone comes with a couple accessories but some of the key factors we're talking about first is the wait 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 we're gonna start all over so i can use this microphone so i can show you that microphone what it looks like one second anyways so let's get into it so this here this is a road mic as you can see right it's about the size of your hand open right this fits right on top of your camera and that little space that we were just talking about your hot shoe mic and that fits in there with this bottom part right here this is called a cold shoe mount if it was a hot shoe mount then it would mean that it would have like a function so it would send some type of signal into your camera so this tightening wheel you can use that to Let's see, let's take this off so we can see it better. This tightening wheel right here, go just like this. And that's gonna tighten it onto the hot shoe mount so it doesn't pop off of your camera, right? And you loosen it like that, tighten it, so you get it. These little grooves right here, you can put the cable, which I can't show that part to you, but if you had the red cable that it comes with, you would take that cable and you would put it into one of these little grooves right there like that and would hold it. And that's so it doesn't like bump into the camera or get snagged on something. And you'd be surprised actually how sensitive this microphone is. That cable bumping into your camera when you're shooting, you can hear that in the audio depending on, you know, if you have um, external audio coming into it. Like me talking, if you didn't have that, you'd be able to hear it. And that's because this microphone is so sensitive and it is designed to pick up like every minute detail of audio and it will and that's a pro and a con objectively so last but not least here is the microphone this is it right here the rode video micro Damn, you look better in your Tinder picture. That's nuts. But anyways, 
So see this super small form factor. You can see this is giving you an idea, right? How small this is, but don't let that fool you. This is super sturdy construction for what it is, right? This um, is a, a machined aluminum, super nice, has a super nice coating. Um, it is pretty scratch resistant. The paint has like hardly come off, even though there's some pretty hard things in there. So, and that doesn't matter because it's about how it works and how it looks, right? So it can take a beat and keep on ticking. So now if we're looking here, if you look into these grooves right here, these allow for uh, spatial audio to come into this from just, or not only from the front angle, but it allows you to pick up a little peripheral audio. So and catch something, some behind you. These, they look like gills, like a, like a shark's gills almost, right? And that's what those are there for. They allow you to pick up um, audio all around you, not as effective as from the front, but it gives you some like room for error, right? Or maybe if you just wanna catch some more environmental noises in your videos or whatever, right? Now, what if you don't want that? How would you beat that? You would take this. Now, this goes by many names. Rabbit's paw, uh, bear paw, a rabbit's tail, or just like a fluffy. Um, but the official name by road is a windshield. So what does this do? Right? You would need to use this over the microphone like so. Fits right in there like that. Easy, right? Fits over there and that's gonna block that wind noise. Because what happens is wind noise, right? It could uh, not sound super intense to you, but what's gonna happen is it's gonna come into the microphone and it's gonna get trapped in, and trapped in here. And it's gonna move around and it's gonna sound like a rumble. And you know, a matter of fact, I have a story. I remember one time I, when I first got this and I was using it, I was like, oh, I need to put this on even though I'm not outside. Some person was like, yeah, you don't need that if you're not outside. I'm like, okay, so I took it off, got my audio from the video and stuff, to, went back to the crib finally and started trying to edit and I'm listening to this audio and do you know what my audio sounded like? This is what it sounded like. <clears throat> All right, so don't listen to that. You need to put this on. Okay, you don't need to, but I'm telling you like out here, we would recommend that you put this on and keep it on there whenever you have it, okay? Keep it on there, it's gonna improve your sound quality. Get rid of that nasty sound that you don't want, let you get that sound that you do want. Okay, all right guys, so that wraps up our video for today. Something super short and simple, nothing crazy. Uh, thanks for sticking around. If you like the content, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you think you're learning from this channel and you wanna stick around and see all the new content that we have coming and there's a lot. So leave those comments, I'll respond as soon as I see them and I'll catch you guys next time. So as always, the interesting anywhere.